now. Let's see. Three, a two, a one, a hello. What's up? Oh, not too much. How are we doing on this lovely Saturday morning? Wonderful. How can I help you? Uh... Well, I was I was the one saying that like God is real, just not in the books. Okay, do you, do you believe God has a gender? Uh, no. Do you believe God uh, has a preference to a particular people on this planet? No. Do you believe God exists outside of space and time? Yes. All right. So you believe in uh, what created your God? Uh, don't know. I can't. I can't no. say I know if I if I don't know. Okay. Do you believe that? And do you believe your God could have been created? Uh, I don't know. You don't. Be, you don't know if you believe if your God could have been created. Right. Like the beginning of wisdom is admitting what you don't know. I understand that. I'm. I'm just asking a simple question. Like. Like you. You believe your God exists. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, do things that exist require creators? Yes. Okay, so you believe your God exists, therefore he requires a creator, by your own logic. Right? Well, I, I mean... So, so hold on, you either, guess... admit, you either admit that your God exists, you either admit that your God exists, and if it exists, it requires a creator, or you admit that it doesn't exist, and it doesn't require a creator. Those are your two but options. I, but I can see that what that um, nature requires a creator. No, it does not. But there is somebody that created the water cycle so that it worked the way that it does, or is it just water acting like water? Something had to create it. No, no, no. Nothing, nothing had to have created it. It could have just happened because water acts like water. Who, who creates the waterfall? Who creates the meteor strike? Who creates the volcanic eruption? Do you believe God has his hand behind all of those natural disasters? Do you think there's a little man behind the curtain pulling little levers and, and making the making the, 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 the earth turn a certain way so that there's tsunamis? No, I don't I don't believe okay. there's like a little man that's oh, pulling oh, strings. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So so are these natural <laughs> phenomenon? Are these natural phenomenon? Yeah, that, a, that's that's what proves that there's a creator. No, it, no, there, it, natural me, phenomenon are literally exactly what they are. It's called natural phenomenon. It's things that we observe. Can you observe God? I feel like you can observe God's creation. That's fine. Can you observe God? That's not the question. I know, man. Like, do you have a problem or something? Like, do. You, Yes, I have a problem with people that waste their time believing in religion when we should be uniting as a whole country, a whole world, and stop this bullshit from happening. It's your rhetoric that's causing the damage that's happening across the world. The belief in an imaginary sky daddy who you measure dicks with with other countries and then get into conflicts over. Literally, you, the reason... I don't believe in that. You, you don't believe in that? That's fabulous. The rest of the world sees it. That's no. why we're all deconstructing. That's why, the, that's why everybody that was colonized is deconstructing right now. That's why. That's could what you, I did. I, I deconstructed you, from escape. from religion. I'm I'm could not a part a, of religion. Could you dude. do me a favor, escape? Could you could you get out of the laundry room? <laughs> I'm glad that you don't believe that religion, belief in supernatural deities, causes conflict in this world. I'm glad that you can have your rose-colored glasses on and think it's all just good to think about things outside of space and time and accept them as real. The problem when you accept things that you cannot see, feel, hear, touch, or quantify as real escape, what can I call you other than that? John. John, the, the problem with believing in something outside of space and time that you cannot ever quantify, there's no confirming or denying its existence. And if there's no confirming or denying its existence, you could be 100% right about it. And if you genuinely believe in 100% truth, in absolute truth with a capital T, if you ascribe to a belief in absolute truth with a capital T, that invites absolute falsehood. If you can believe anything is absolutely false by mere existence, by mere virtue of existence, you can believe something is wrong inherently, then they serve no other purpose than to be experience points for you on your path to God. This, you're not the main character in some video game, John. 
They're, these are real people. Just because they don't believe in what you believe doesn't mean that they're not they're gonna go to a, a bad place after all of this. The belief I don't, in I don't that believe bad I don't place, believe in a heaven and hell. I don't believe in a heaven and hell. I don't believe in the Bible. Good for you. The belief in a bad place, the belief the belief that anybody has all the right answers, the belief in a deity will cause it invites problems. It invites problems. It invites conflict. That's why the Bible has as a warning when all, when the whole world unites. It has that as a warning at the end of the book saying that oh be, be wary of the day that the whole world unites because that's the day that everything's going to end. That's the day that we're no longer going to need the Bible. The day that we all unite as one people is the day we can shed the carapace of gods behind and actually be allowed to soar. A butterfly can never fly if it doesn't get out of its carapace. And religion, Christianity specifically, because that's what that's what is damaging that's what's damaging societal structures in the United States right now, Christianity specifically, needs to be exercised. It, can, it cannot be allowed to fester any longer. You would think we would have stopped it already with all the SA cases that were coming from it because the lack of accountability that Christianity breeds by having the very first sin be a gaining of knowledge. The lack of accountability when, when God blames the serpent or Eve or Adam for falling, for, for, for succumbing to his orchestrated plan he knows everything. He knew Eve would eat that fruit. He knew. He let the serpent into the garden. He knew. There's so you think you knowing. think just by me believing that yes, there is a causing, creator? Yep, you cause damage. You cause damage to the societal structures because again, just because you're doing it well and you believe that this creator is benevolent, somebody could be like, well, he believes in a creator, so that means I can believe in a creator and mine can be the opposite. And then they can be justified in doing whatever they want. You leave the door open. You leave, by believing in a creator, you leave the door open for someone to believe in a destructor. You understand that I, now, don't you? I see you? what you're saying. Yeah, you understand I see what you're now. saying. Yes, yes. Christianity, the belief in a positive God, that's why Satan is necessary in Christian lore. So believing in it invites it. It's the fucking Wendigo. That's, that's, what, that's what the native people of this pl place were talking about. They weren't talking about the Wendigo. You're not supposed to talk about it. They weren't talking about the Wendigo. They were talking about believing in one omnipresent, omnibenevolent God. Because once you start believing in that one, you have to believe in the other one. And belief in this place, John, is powerful. Belief in this place changes things. Human perception changes the way atoms react to each other, John. Human perception is the God hand 